Hello, my beautiful co-creators. Lidu here from Santa Fe, New Mexico. Uh, today, I'm going to answer the question for, of Maud Sejournon regarding the Juicy Tour, what it is, etc. Because this question comes quite often. So I'm delighted to spend this time with Maud and answer your questions. <laughs> yes, it's so exciting, really. I felt I wanted to go with you on that <laughs> tour. So I want to know everything. So first, what is the Juicy Living Tour? What is it? Well, the Juicy Living Tour is a, I call it a journey of the soul. It's really uh, following a life and letting life guide me towards juicy people, people that have passion, people that express their heart, people that have wisdom. I want to show to the world how amazing life can be when we start applying those tools, when we start to be on the path, when we have the courage to follow our heart, when we let life guide us. And for me, this is a quite a big challenge because I'm a go, go, go. I'm a control. I, I used to be very controlling. And so now to allow life, you know, and to mm. really do this quantum leap into the unknown and have moved from France to the U.S. to start this tour is, I hope, uh, going to inspire millions of people around the U.S. and the world. I've been watching my video since 2006 now. So uh, where are you starting this tour? So I started the tour on the 11th of January 2011 in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Um, it, again, things have manifested and it just happened that way. And um, very, I had already interviewed quite a lot of people from Santa Fe originally. I have a very good friend that lives in Santa Fe. And everything was, life was showing me, you know, to start here in Santa Fe. So I've been already doing this for a week now. And every day I have been interviewing authors that I've already interviewed on webcam, so that I have already created a relationship with. And I'm also interviewing people that are showing up on the path, everyday people that are showing their passion, they're showing what they have learned, they're showing their inner wisdom, their juiciness, their passion for life. So it started in, in um, uh, New Mexico, but right now I'm gonna go to Sedona this week the following week to Colorado and to Arizona, and also include some other countries within the tour. This is a 12 months tour across the U.S. mainly, but the Canada and the U.S. is, is, is really the, 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 main, um, the main itinerary, but it doesn't mean that I'm not going to go to other countries. So if there is an opportunity to go to the U.K., for example, to Australia, to Japan, because my book just been published in Japanese, all of that, I will take on. I will take the camera and interview people, interview spiritual teachers, interview artists, entrepreneurs, everyday people that are ready to share their their juiciness. <laughs> so, what is really your intention? Your deep inner intention. My intention is to participate in the shift that is happening right now that we are all hearing about. I want to witness it. I want to be part of it. I want to show it you know i want to I, I want i want to share um, and show the inspiration and to show what's really going on that the big television the media are not doing mm. i started online i'm an internet person i'm a, i'm I, I i love the internet because it allows you so much freedom and it has no uh, limitation as far as topics i'm independent i can feature any topic that i want and spirituality, I don't think television is quite ready for spirituality, or at least I, I think there's a misunderstanding on what spirituality is. So I'm just letting it happen. So you're giving a voice maybe to people who usually are not interviewed on the yeah. big channels? Also people that are interviewed, but really, yes, the core is people that don't have the, the, the chance to be, or that right now the, the media are not interested about, the big medias. There is amazing people every day here um, since I started the tour. I just, every day I meet, it could be somebody working at a bakery that just moved all the way from France, you know, and that is living her passion. It could be an artist, it can be, um, I'm thinking of Nitu also that just came from New York and was guided to come to Santa Fe and had uh, been really studying and opening up and learning the past three years and now is ready to go back in the world and she's ready as a leader. You know, this place is really touching my heart because it seems to be a place where a lot of people are doing great healing work that is needed. 
and then they're ready. They, they found their essence. They found their soul. They found an expression to their soul, and they're ready to go out and do the work. And that's why I think I'm starting in Santa Fe to be ready for what's coming next. It's a good place indeed uh, to start. I, I might think. never leave. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you talked about your intention now. What is your motivation? What is inside in terms of feeling, emotion that moves you? Inspiration. Inspiration mm. moves me. Mm. My primary intention is inspiration. And um, sharing the joy, the uh, expression of the soul, the, the, the everyday uh, small things that we may pass by that we don't see that makes life amazing. I want to share my gratitude for life. I want to share my heart. I want to share real experience. I want to share true, authentic communication, whether it's in person or on camera. That's why I'm integrating within this tour a video blog so, and the behind the scenes so that there is also the, 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 the story, you know, and how this is enriching my life and also how it's enriching the viewer's life. So along the way, I'm going to meet people that are impacted by, by, the, by the tour and the interviews I'm doing and the, and the teachers and the everyday people. It seems to me almost like it is an initiatic journey yeah. for yourself also. Yeah, yeah that's, it, it is, it is. It's all new, it's all very new, you know. There's a big difference between reading the books and going to seminars and then being in life and really walking the talk and having the courage to follow our hearts. And this is really my big dream and I think a lot of people can relate to, to this. What I'm doing, traveling around the world, learning. But it takes more than just that because then you're confronted to yourself. You're confronted yes. to what is in between you and your dreams. So it's, it's, it's one that, it's a journey that you have to be ready to do. But yeah, it is an initiating journey. Yeah. yeah. It seems that you are really putting in practice the idea of quantum physics where the observer is part of what is observed and the observer changes what he sees, but he's changed himself mm -hmm. or herself. Mm -hmm. Do you feel already you have changed yourself yeah. since the beginning? Yeah, I already felt that. And, uh, Actually, when I interviewed you, you know, it was three days into the Juicy Living tour, and you have a, a labyrinth at the back of where you live, and I, I did that, and it was a big moment of releasing a lot of the old, a lot of the past, and to readjust because the energy here, and just being just three days into this tour, living all the synchronicities, meeting all those amazing teacher, is like each teacher bring, is bringing something to me which I was not expected. My primary intention mm. is here to help others and to really share all this. But what I'm getting is so much, you know, so, so already so much growth. And I feel like right now my heart is more and more open. And for me, having an open heart is so essential because then it's, it's your soul talking, it's your soul, it, then you're in the presence and you're being guided and it's, and it's a more fulfilling journey. So it seems that wanting to give service actually brings you yeah. unexpected gifts? Yeah, unexpected gifts in abundance, uh -huh. in abundance. This uh -huh. is the true abundance of life that I'm living right now. And I'm very moved by that because I'm seeing people supporting financially the tour, donating for the tour so that it can grow, so, so it can make happen. And I was never expecting that, you know, not, not to this level, not so soon. And it is already happening from the moment I decided to go to Santa Fe and to do the Juicy Tour, even though if I didn't have the big sponsors I wanted, even though if I didn't have the bus that I wanted with the logo, even though if I didn't have this and that, I just, my heart needed and I needed to go. And so the abundance is not just, you know, financially to have the support to do it and not being attached to it. It's just, it's happening and I know it's for the greater good. And uh, the abundance in, in the teaching, in the wisdom, in the energy exchange, it's huge. In the connection with my friends that I can spend time with, with people that are watching the videos that I can meet, you know, along. All of that is just happening as a consequence of following my heart. So it's total faith yeah. in the universe. Yeah, it is. And I'm learning that and I want to show also the challenges of that because they mm. are here in every day. And I'm a, I'm a person that is very much a doer. I can achieve a lot. 
And I've learned to achieve through struggle. I've learned to achieve through hard mm. times. And this is getting better and better. Mm. And I'm opening myself up to the abundance. I'm allowing the synchronicities to happen and it to be easy and accepting and embracing my greatness and you know, embracing all the love that I have to make a difference in the world. Not coming from ego, oh, I want to empower millions. No, now that's why I re actually reviewed with a, a coach of mine, one of the team mentors, Freeman Michael. We just reviewed the vision and the mission of the tour. It has already changed. It mm. has already transformed and matured. When I read again what I wrote, you know, a few years ago or just a week ago, um, not a week, but a month ago, empowering millions, and nah, nah, nah. it was so still the strength, you know, I was still like, oh, this is what I want. It was still a lot of ego in there. And there still is, and I think ego is very good. And uh, as French and as a Leo, I've, I've got that. And it's good, it, it's a drive, but it's not the, I'm learning to really let go and trust and follow this flow on this tour. And that's, it's, that's, that's where I'm coming from. Yeah, so it seems your ego will be now on service yeah. to a higher level yes. and not serve, serving itself. Yes. So that's maybe the big change. Already. That's a big change yeah. and I've always been told that I had, a, I had some ego, so it's good that now it's at service. Yeah, <laughs> because before Ego it can be very good. Yeah, but it can be, I think, very uh, destructive. To serve, to serve. But to serve, it's great. Once yes. it's at service, ooh, right? I feel I've maybe domesticated a little bit. Oh, <laughs> so already changing. We'll see. Great. Well, um, tell me, you are Franco-American or Americano-French? I don't know how to say it. You're already a kind of bridge between yeah. two cultures. Yeah, and I've always felt that way. Yeah, I was born in Santa Barbara in California. My parents were both French, and they had a French restaurant in Santa Barbara. And uh, 33 years ago, I was born there. And then I live, we lived in France and in the US. But since the age of eight, I've really been raised in France. But I have always felt like um, America was my mother, and France was my father. Mm. It, and, and I've always felt at home and at ease in each of the country. Actually, no, it's recent and now I feel at home in France. That's one of the reasons why at 23 I moved to the U.S. because I couldn't be with the... I, I just I wasn't, I, I wasn't confident enough. I wasn't feeling... I didn't want to be challenged. I wanted to be nurtured and helped. I wasn't confident enough. I was, a lot of things in France were... It was just not easy. So the U.S. helped me and I started doing personal developments and going to seminars and uh, learning from teachers and reading. And that's what the U.S. has brought. Um, and I've, I've learned to love life here. I've learned what um, giving is and exchange. And now that I go back to France, I, I, can Im I, I feel so good there uh, too. It, it's just like anywhere I go. But before, when I left for France to the U.S., I thought that, oh, because I'm moving country, my life is going to be better and it's all going to you know, flow together. But frankly, I've, I found the same problem. I found the same challenges until I decided to do some classes and, 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 and invest in, in myself. In your home within, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, within, yeah, because the, all the, this is, it, it, once the, once we start really, when I started loving myself and really embracing and nurturing, the more I do that, the more I feel it's, it's, it's starting to come out because it's already full inside. So it's just, it's, then it's an overflow of, and then I can give. So this is all new to me. It's very exciting. And one of my intention too, maybe on the tour, uh, you know, I'll meet uh, my life partner. Oh, you are looking for one maybe? I, yeah. Okay, that's good to know. The, the, it's, it's not anymore a, uh, a, a necessity. It's something yeah. that I really look forward to sharing this journey and this path with uh, a special someone. Yeah. yeah. Because this is so good that really, not just I want to share it on camera, but I really want to have and somebody that is on the same spiritual path that we can share all of this greatness and I can, we can do many projects around that, you know. And it seems you are full of projects. Yes. Right? <laughs> yeah, there's many projects. Yeah. yeah. There's a, I, I wrote a book after I lost my job uh, in 2009 in the UK called I Lost My Job and I Liked It. And now I'm completing the second book, which is the follow-up of that. And this journey is going to be the third book, 
with the teaching and the insights on the day to day. So I'm recording as I go along the, on a memo in a dictaphone all the, the lessons and the beauty and the magic. So um, what are the bridge do you feel you are? We talk about culture, the American, the French. Mm -hmm. Do you feel also you are bridging the other parts of society, for example? Society, I don't know, but certainly I always felt like a word citizen. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. and even a universal citizen. I, I really, um, I, there's certainly, I think the more, from the moment that we live and we are ourselves and some things that are beyond our knowledge, you know, and, and explanation happen. So the more I'm going to live my own truth and the more people in their life live their own truth and path, then some magic happens. It, it hits, you know, it, it clicks for somebody. So the more of us living in this way, the more of us living in an authentic, loving way, the more it's going to make bridges all over. So, uh, yeah, w I like to think so, but I don't know. But I'm sure, I'm sure many bridges are connecting pa new pathways, um, people's, people really being hopefully uh, inspired to go for their dream, to, to dare quit their job, to to see that maybe they just divorced and it's a time to reinvent themselves. Maybe, you know, hopefully it'll inspire other people to be courageous. Because I really think, and I love what some teachers are saying, like Keisha, you know, we're the greatest of the greatest right now on the planet. We chose to be here. We're, we're, we're here to, and this shift is happening. For, and the more we're going to open ourselves up, the more we're going to be true to ourselves and living our truth and be authentic and let go of the past, let go of the, of, of, of the conditioning that we were born in, the more that it's going to open up things for people around us and in the world. So it starts with us. The shift is not happening outside. It's not some kind of guru or teacher that is going to do the, the, the shift. It's not just a pray, it's an everyday thing. And that's why the tour is called Everyday Inspiration from Everyday People. Because mm -hmm. it's all of us. That's what I'm looking to capture. And you say yourself, we are co-creators. We are right? co-creators, so I love that word. We are we creating. Are. Yeah. Not only our life, but the world in some way. Yeah. All together. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. And you offer pieces of magic or stories. Uh, can you tell me already what type of events arrived, happened that you didn't anticipate it? I wasn't, ex one of the things you said, for example, I, I had no computer when I, when I got here. It's to tell you how much, you know, I was, and, and I had not a computer that was enough for me to upload the videos or do webcam and this and that. And so I decided, you know, I'm like, okay, with what I have, I'm just going to get a computer. And it was a thousand dollars. So I was hesitating for a second. Um, because is it is it is it wise you know to do this maybe there's some other ways and I said no this is really something I should do and I felt like this is uh, this is what I'm gonna do and just the same night there was a donation of a thousand dollars by somebody through the site um, every day there is uh, it's just I'm going into a restaurant or into a place or I receive a message it's all being uh, you know like uh, synchronized and to a T. So something that appears as bad, I'm just letting it, uh, there's, a, there's a good news behind it. That's, that's, so, uh, woo, the fire is yes, exciting. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so there's been many things and uh, all the wonderful teachers that I have already interviewed for the past four years. I have maybe 13, over 1,300 videos on YouTube now, 6 million views. And it, all those teachers are really supporting it and now just easily opening their door because we're already connected on webcam. We have already done those interviews. So it's, everything is working with ease. It, it, otherwise, at, at the last minute or a week before, you cannot really get those people. They could be hard to reach and there's, you know, and it's just everything ha it was in preparation for this. That's how it feels. So what, when I hear you, it's about relationship. Yeah, also. and connecting. Connecting. And I had to be ready for this intimacy because an interview is a very intimate moment. And it's a privilege, you know, to connect with somebody on a soul level and to, to get the best. So I, I'm always trying to, you know, to, to pull the best. And, and you know, it's, I, I wasn't ready for this intimate, the intimacy before. 
Mm -hmm. I had uh, I was very hurt from the divorce of my parents. I was uh, there was a th really thick wall. I was really afraid to love. I was always protecting myself not to fall in love. I was really hurt, and it took me uh, hours and journaling and video blogging and coaching and all of that to start right now reopening up and to let my heart speak and to let it shine and to and that. Uh, now I'm ready for intimacy and I was ready for this, those one-on-one. -on -one. Before that, I was unable to do it. That's why I did it on webcam. But now the, it's like the decor is already set and I have already had this connection. It was, it was, uh, I was kind of felt protected because I was behind my computer and I felt free and now I'm ready to go a lot deeper and, it, and just into this, this beautiful connection because that's all really there is. And it's, I don't want any more hard work. You know, I want my life to, to be there and, and do its part. And others to do their part. Right. Allow others in. So what so far has been the most intimate time you had with someone you interviewed? Mm, I thought a very intimate moment with, with uh, Carl Hartman that I didn't know that works actually with you. Because we were in nature and mm. it was just the two of us and nature. And it was just going with this flow. And he has this very peaceful way, you know, and loving way, a man of the heart. And so it was beautiful to be in this energy and just to allow the conversation to be as it, as it is, you know, at his pace and going with that. And um, I thought it was a very intimate moment, especially with a man. I'm really touched and moved by men now, whereas before I wouldn't allow myself to see that. I see their sensitivity, their love their compassion and uh, and it's and it's beautiful I think a lot of men are bringing in the feminine energy and are teaching now women to bring that feminine energy too because a lot of us have been go 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 or I've been an entrepreneur for eight years you know and yeah. reaching the top and but this world this old world collapsed when I lost my job in in London all of that is part of you know, um, judging myself by how much money I make and the car and the status, all that is part of the old world. And now I'm just opening myself up. That's really all there is. I think it's a healing journey. And that's what the, 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 the juicy tour is all about. Yeah. It's a healing journey for me and for people that are watching. Yeah, because the more you heal yourself, the more you help others heal too. Yeah, and the more you get back pieces of your soul that were lost yeah and the more you're complete and the more you're just yourself and you see that there is nothing else to do but be ourselves in life be our essence and let it shine and the more we do that the more life works by itself can you say that saying i ah! <laughs> that is a challenge <laughs> I, I'm doing all this. I'm what? <laughs> yeah, I am opening myself. And no, I'm opening myself to the beauty and the magnificence of life and, and uh, letting life guide me and, uh, That's right. and, 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 and help on this magnificent journey. Yeah. You're a model for many people. So you can say I, so they can say I also. Right. Yeah. That that's gonna come. Uh, yeah. I'm still a bit uncomfortable. <laughs> that, yeah, it, <laughs> usually you are on the other side. And, <laughs> yeah. But this time, yeah, it's you. Mm. It's about you. So, do you have um, people in mind specifically that you are going to interview that you know already? Yeah, I'm mm. really looking for. I'm going to Sedona in a few days. I'm looking forward to interviewing uh, Dron Vallo. Uh, Melchizedek, he's really, really a man of the heart and I really enjoyed uh, interviewing him and his knowledge and um, I'm really, really looking forward to meeting him and doing an interview in the Red Rocks of Sedona. One of the things I really want this tour to be about is to interview the, 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 the teachers in their natural environment and that they bring us in their home also and that there is just this this not, it's not anymore just a teacher but it's a person you know and so that we can we're all everyday people we all have yeah. our struggles and so and, and challenges and successes so um, I, I really want to bring the teacher it where they feel the best where they can shine even more not into a studio 
not into uh, the light and this and that. No, wherever their heart, wherever they want to bring me. So Drone Valo is going to be in the Red Rocks. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I am, my intention is to interview Greg Braden. He's going to be in Sedona. The interview has not been set up. But again, I'm doing a mini jump, another little jump to just say, okay, life bring me, you know, so I can, I can interview Greg Braden and another wonderful teacher. I'm looking forward to interviewing in person uh, Barbara Max Hubbard that lives mm -hmm. in Santa Barbara, California. Mm -hmm. Barbara is a visionary. She's 80 years old. She's an amazing woman. And I really look forward to interviewing her in person. Already on webcam, I could feel it. Don Miguel Ruiz, that you know very well. I've yeah. interviewed him many times. And to interview him in person is going to be a special moment. Um, and many, many more, you know, we'll see. Uh, I would love to interview uh, Baron Katie. Mm, yeah. And um, um, Carl Kalman that lives in Vancouver. There's a lot of teachers in Vancouver. Mm -hmm. I would love to actually bring the celebrities next to their teacher. For example, there's um, uh, Jim Carrey, that is, his teacher is Edgar Tolley. I would love to have them together. Mm -hmm. I would love to interview together Greg Braden with Julia Roberts. They both live in Taos near here. I would love life to guide me this way. I think bringing the spiritual and the intimate part of the celebrity together with their teacher could be a very powerful experience for many people. That's great. Now, what, what are your challenges? My challenge is, is to um, n not be, to deprogram the go, go, go. Mm -hmm. You know, my challenge is to slow down the pace and to find my personal balance within this tour because it, it's things happen so much, you know, every day. And right now I'm at a place where I'm um, interviewing, I'm preparing the interviews, I'm editing, I'm putting them online, I'm distributing, I'm setting up the camera. All of that and really my challenge is to receive the help I would love to attract a production team that works that does that handles all the technical parts so that we can increase the quality of the videos the quality of the shooting do a documentary so my challenge is to delegate you know and let and, and have others help me and to stop the go 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 and to just really uh, take the time to nurture my soul like when we did this the, the labyrinth experience there was no camera I think that was a very powerful moment, and that's a reminder that there is those also those moments where I'm I'm going to experience something. I'm going to allow myself to experience those things without sharing it, mm -hmm. because I'm I'm of nature that I just want to share everything, and I have to learn to take some time for myself, and then it then I can share the experience. But I don't need to always camera 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 camera. So how can we support you in your journey? Oh, thank you for asking that. Uh, you can support by, um, well, there is a website where there is juicylivingtour.com where there is the tour locations and you can suggest tour locations and places and teachers. Um, there is the financial aspect. People can donate money on the site to support the tour. We need a lot more funds to really develop all those wonderful ideas that we have and, as I said, production team and more. Um, people can also participate and become volunteers. There are some people right now volunteering two, five hours per week. Right now, I think um, we're mainly in need of programmers for the website, accountants, um, legal, you know, legal, um, I think, um, lawyers, you know, giving their time. What a, what a, what a beautiful, you know, way, I think, because sometimes we have this idea of lawyers, but there's lawyers with great heart, and it's yes. just that. Yes. <laughs> and um, um, if people, you know, with ideas and want to support and help and in publicity. I really so they want can to just go on your website and offer the service? Yeah, so here there I is everything set up right now right. for people to volunteer and to contact Sharon. Um, that is one of the person working on the... On, on the tour and um, there is many ways to just you know by even sharing those videos and sending it to more people that's also amazing I know Facebook is a big one where we just we post it on the wall and somebody else posts it on their wall through Twitter all the social media works really well so from the moment you know somebody shares it then that's when the story impacts and you know I can touch another another person because that's really the the, the core of it so the more those videos are spread the better 
Any other question I have not asked you that you would love to answer <laughs> to? <laughs> Is this ever going to end? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lifetime journey. Well, thank you so much. I'm so glad you answered this question. Thank for us. you, Maud. You're a great interviewer. I love it. <laughs> I really enjoy that. Thank you for asking all those wonderful questions. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's clarifying the vision, and um, it really adds a, again, the universe has brought the perfect person to, to ask the questions. and to let this shine out, so thank you. It's my pleasure. <laughs>